Welcome back to the Make You a Better Public Speaker. Today is lesson 111, 111. And we are talking about light of cheese. Again, like most of the rhetorical devices, you used them, but you just never know what they were. A light of tea is defined as essentially stating an affirmative statement expressed with negating the opposite. The definition does not typically help, even for myself, but the examples will make things completely clear. So here are three reasons why you need to incorporate lidotes within your next speech or presentation. Number one, emphasizing the positive. And like I said in the definition, you're trying to state the positive, but you don't, you're not really direct. So again, you could use the example like not a bad idea. By negating the negative, not bad, and it comes the idea being the noun here, you're giving praise to the idea without overdoing it, essentially, right? It's like, ah, uh, it's kind of a, you know, it's not, I guess, not a, you're downplaying it a little bit, right? It's not too much. All right, so number two is conveying modesty. So even for yourself, I'm not the most experienced speaker here, right? By even saying a sentence, again, we talk about, we, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have used this kind of, I'm not the best, but it's a lie to you. Right? So when you do this, uh, you're downplaying your own ability or accomplishments and you come across more modest. And again, in some situations, coming across modest is going to make you a little bit more like also, which will allow you to connect with the audience a little bit better. So number three is softening criticism. Okay, so if we're not in the debate or persuasion, sometimes if you disagree with somebody, you would say, or you just kind of saying something negative, but not really. You would say something like, his or her work is not without flaws. So you're saying, they do a good job, but they're not perfect. Right? Again, it's softening, softening the criticism. And it can be employed as productive, constructive criticism. Right? If you're trying to critique somebody, and the person doesn't really like a direct approach of how bad they're doing at work or anything. Again, lidotes can help with that by not being completely direct. All right. So three reasons again why you should incorporate lidotes in your presentation. Emphasizing the positive. Conveying modesty. And softening criticism. There's many more. These three are something you could do to incorporate. So go out there, give a light of tea a try, and become a better public speaker. See you next time.